There's those days when you feel bored with the same old friends and the same old routine. So I just got up the plane, fly off Bangkok and land in Vientiane, Laos. One of the poor countries in the ASEAN with the most bomb and landmines from wars. So it gets a lot of world attention. For, um, and the inflation, the pandemic brought down the currency 40%. So everything is very cheap. You get the best sauna, you get the best food, and Laos has no seashore. Yeah, but you get the best cheap, fresh seafood you can ever get. And we speak in sign language. Sometimes uh, things break down. <laughs> but this is the only big uh, square in Laos, Bintian. So I bought a second bicycle, which actually came from Bangkok. And get it fixed up. Put in lots of accessories. Test everything, charge everything, and then I head out into the countryside, eastwards towards Vietnam. Um, the roads are quite okay. Uh, internet is so-so, but I just enjoy the countryside view, meeting people. People are very shy, but if you say Sabaidi, uh, they like it and they are friendly towards people. Um, 45% of them live below the poverty line. So this is the local taxis and you can get cheaper access to low cost because of the drop on currency and I just enjoy the view, meeting people. Um, this is a big storm and cafe occasionally very rare protects me from the because it was winter temperature dropped to 10 degrees Celsius and it was uphill climb towards Vietnam two or three days straight very grueling at my age grandpa age to do it but I have taken as many stops as possible to take in the view uh, guest houses along the way are very cheap 70,000 keep which is about three four US dollars and the rooms are quite okay you don't need uh, air condition because uh, it's cold because it was December when do it and at the top of the hill just imagine find a modern cafe and selling very cheap uh, food for dinner but the room is 45 US dollars per night so I head back down uh, get the 70,000 keep roomy room but it was still very stormy and electricity broke down that goes the internet too and batteries were running out but the very next morning I hit one more last stretch towards the uh, Vietnamese uh, border all in I took 455 kilometers uh, took me five days of riding with one extra day of rest at the first day when I got cramps so the people I meet along the way I feel that you know it's kind of sad too because I won't see them again ever <laughs> The world is so wide. I've gone to 40 countries. I've taken my children out of school. My daughter, age 17, to Europe. She settled down in Germany. Okay, fruits here are cheap, but they get more expensive as you approach, and people will fleece you. So you have to be smart. And all those great, amazing views. And I took my son when he was 15 uh, around the world, 18 countries in eight months. Finally, I reached Vietnam. It's like reaching civilization, more better infrastructure, but the room rates are double or triple. But locals are so friendly, so I got this surprised greeting from the students who are willing to take me to the nearest cheap motel. And that's my story, and the people I meet, I may never meet again, so sabaydi, salam alaikum.